Now, this building in front of us now, this church, now this was in the ghetto. The, yeah, the, and, and, and what was happening, because you see, when they, when they closed the ghetto, they didn't care. Oh, let's walk quick, quickly, quickly, quickly. <laughs> they didn't care what religion somebody was yeah. under the Nazi terms, you know, but they, they drew a very wide brush for who was Jewish and who wasn't. And there were mixed couples where one, like the husband or the wife found themselves in the ghetto and the, and the partner followed into the ghetto. But what had happened was this is, for example, that, uh, when, when the Christians, who were considered Jews, when they came here, there was time, after a while, this produced a lot of bad feeling amongst other people. And the bad feeling that they had to have police protection in certain, like Easter, for example, in 1942, when they came here, the, uh, because uh, bad feeling from, the, from the, the people saw the Christians as being the oppressors, even though these oppressors were in fact also Jewish. There we have uh, the Pope, who died uh, in April 2005. Polish Pope, he was 85 when he died. Um, although he'd been ill for some time, and I think if he'd, if he'd uh, took a bit more care of himself, then he might have lived a bit longer. Right, so what we, what we could do is so we'll, we'll walk down here. Now, some of these buildings, as you can see, are, are socialist era. So, uh, yeah. I mean, even these buildings are here, it's, it's expensive to own something here. Uh, the, the problem living here, though, is that uh, even though it's in the centre, the first thing is you can still get you know, sort of the junks and the dropouts hanging around. And you, uh, you, you couldn't, when I lived here, you know, it was always a problem with the car that you know, somebody might steal things. Wow. And uh, like where I live now, it's, it's, there's no problem <laughs> at all of that. <laughs> You see, this street here, this is an original ghetto street. This is the only one that is a uh, street, as such, which has survived. Now, this is Ulitsa Prusna. You can see the state which it's in. Um, but there's an attempt to actually either uh, to repair it, to... Um, to, uh, hope to make it survive. Now, certain places, certain flats are still inhabited, but um, I've been inside, and, you know, this parts are really dangerous, <laughs> and, uh, uh, it, you know, re what would happen is this, is when the Jews were forced to leave, and having, you know, ha it, it, having been living in a ghetto, which wasn't particularly pleasant, then people who are homeless, or others, would come and take the flats over but they expect to get thrown out themselves, so they wouldn't look after it. You see, in, get, in, in the Krakow ghetto, I mean, people still they live there normally, they're normal flats, even today. Here, because of the destruction that was caused, oh, yeah, yeah. oh look at the blackbird, uh, the, the, the magpie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because of the destruction of the wall. Now, what we have here, we have very interesting uh, gates. And uh, these, these are originals. These are from before the war. And what the, the buildings would be closed like this. There'd be somebody guarding it. And th this person would let you in or not let you in at night. But there's also, for example, there's photographs of people who, uh, when, when, uh, when there was typhus epidemic, which frequently happened because of the amount of people were pushed in one place, they didn't have proper food, they were uh, close to each other. And the, 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 the Nazis would uh, insist that the bl it was closed for two weeks. That's two weeks people can't get out and they put guards on the gates. And obviously in two weeks they can't get food, probably can't get much water and they're prob probably going to die. These, yeah. Um, I don't know, I mean uh, there's several of these still around. Um, there's a thought that it is, but it may not be. This is about 1898, if I remember rightly, these, these things. If we can get in, which I suspect we can't. No, we can't. What we have here, on, on, you see the, uh, on, on the ground, there are um, these cobblestones mm -hmm. on the ground. They're not cobblestones, it's wood. It's the only wooden courtyard, I believe, in Europe.
It, it seems like stone when you walk on it, but it's wood. <laughs> and unfortunately, we can't get. But people would live in sort of these this type t these tenement blocks, and it, inside the courtyards that have a well. You see, people are still living here, though. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought people were still living in this side. But, uh, the question is, I mean, how 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 do you keep it? I mean, it's very it's very difficult. You know, it's it's much easier to destroy a street and then build a new one yeah. than it is to to keep an uh, one which is uh, in this condition. The windows are closed. Windows yeah, are yeah, like yeah. It's, it's, it's amazing that it's actually survived. Yeah. Because yeah. in, in, in 1944, after the Warsaw operation, the Nazis just went around destroying everything. Mm -hmm. This bit, this part of Warsaw was actually held by the the, the rebels, the Home Army, the Poles, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it was taken um, sometime. I think it was around uh, towards the end of September 1944. I can't remember the exact date. The Nazis didn't destroy it. There was other places they just destroyed wantonly.